high under a tree with you and me. How do you get a guy addicted to you? How do you get a guy thinking non-stop about you at a point where he's just, he almost is consumed by the thought of you? And this can be any guy. This is not just about the, the nice guys who probably want to buy you flowers and just look after you and you know expect too much of a relationship. This is also about the guys that kind of are the, the emotionally unavailable guys, the guys that you're more interested in that are probably not as interested in you. And I know what like you've been in that position before, and it can be extremely frustrating. So how do you get those guys addicted to you? Now, this whole addiction thing is about a single word. And I'm gonna give you this word, and I'm also gonna explain a bit more about it. But at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a single text message, which you can send now, which will demonstrate this to you. And when you've seen this, because I've sent this message, I sent this out to my email list. And when I sent this out to my email list, I got so many responses of people that were like, holy shit, uh, this guy that I sent this to, he doesn't avoid me anymore. Now all of a sudden he's left me all these voicemails and all this stuff. and..." What do I do now? And then I say to these people, it's probably wise to organize a date. So what is this single word? And the single word that I wanna to tell to you, which I'm about to tell you in just a second, is the concept of curiosity. Curiosity is about anticipation. Curiosity is about what happens next. Chances are, if a guy is not really that excited by you or not really into you, is that you haven't allowed enough space for curiosity. Now, curiosity is often about leaving things unsaid, leaving things to the imagination. And if you work with me, if we work through coaching, things like that, I can teach you a way of speaking that will naturally pique his curiosity because you'll be speaking in a way that he'll be fulfilling the rest of the conversation in his own mind. But more importantly, we always, people fall in love with the images in our head. We don't fall in love with the person in front of us. So if you can learn to create an image in his head of about who you are, what you potentially could be, that's what he's going to fall in love with. And curiosity is about leaving things unsaid because if there are more than one potential endings to the story, then he's gonna get so excited and so almost like at a core level addicted to finding out what happens next. Like have you ever watched a show where at the end of the show there's a cliffhanger? This is going to be that you are going to be the cliffhanger. So one way you can do this now, if you go on a date, is just to potentially just focus on leave things, in, leave things unsaid. One way of also doing that is just to demonstrate like that there's more parts of you that you have. You're just not a single dimension character and the more dimensions that he learns about you, the more he's gonna actually fall in love with you. But at a base level, it is about curiosity and it starts with just letting him imagine some of the situation. And now I wanna give you a text message which is really gonna solve this and I really hope that you get a lot out of it. So let me get my phone. This message is so good that when you send it, he's gonna be thinking about you, thinking, holy shit, what is she planning? What is she thinking? And I wanna give this to you now and what you can do is if you're interested in a guy, you can send this to him now. If you're not really interested in a guy right now, try this out and send this to an old number and see what happens, like an old guy that you're potentially messaging and just see what happens. So the simple text message is, hey, I've been thinking about you a lot right now and there's something on my mind that I really want to tell you about. Do you have a like, couple seconds to chat later? And what this is going to do is this is going to leave so much to his imagination. He's not gonna be quite sure what you're thinking. It could be sexual, it could be non-sexual, it could be romantic, it could be a date, it could be something bad, it could be something good. But you can then follow up being like, hey, I just saw this dog and it really reminded me of you, like something really casual and flirty. But in the meantime, the more you let him guess, the more you eventually like space out your text messages as well, that is going to leave more things to his imagination. And if you did like this video, I want you to do the quiz. I want you to go to gethimhooks.com where you can do the what guy is most attracted to you quiz, where you can find out what guy is most attracted to you so you can learn what's most suitable for you and therefore send this text message to that guy. And I'm always very curious. Let me know if you know what you got and if you sent this message, uh, what results you got. And until next time, make sure to subscribe for more life and love and have the two work together 
and also make sure to leave a like because leaving a like really helps me support the channel and grow the channel. I'm not one of those like whores, but I do like it if you leave me a like. All right, see you next time.